A lot of people say, well, it's not going to happen to me. If you look at all the statistics from all the different places who could do all the studies, et cetera, and the government agencies, they're basically saying that everybody has been compromised. They just don't know it. Everything is going to be on the internet. So things that are vulnerable today to cyber attack, imagine, you know, when you talk about the smart refrigerator or the Nest thermostat that's in your home, all of those things are going to be exposed to the internet. Somebody can tell whether you're using your refrigerator, you're using your washer and dryer, you're using your thermostat, or did you set up to go away for vacation? So imagine all of that data being out there for the cyber criminals to use big data analytics to find out what's happening with companies and people in their homes. As the internet continues to grow, so does the threat of cybercrime. As we plug in more and more sensitive information and allow for the control of countless systems, including vital infrastructure like water supplies and power grids, cyber criminals are always looking for new ways to exploit the system. But cybersecurity experts are also working day and night to combat the growing threat. A lot of the time when people hear cybersecurity, they immediately think, oh, some kind of hacking. Well, it's not all hacking. Cybersecurity has grown so fast that there's many different specializations. I mean, you can be an analyst. You can be monitoring different kinds of logs and feeds that are coming in from different companies. You can also be on the red team side or the offensive side of security where you are hacking. Or there's management positions. There's very fine-grained specializations, and there's a lot to do. So you can't protect something you don't understand. So you need this broad level of knowledge about computer systems and how they work. So if you have a good understanding of computer systems, the next thing you need to understand are business operations. How does a business function? Once you can put the systems and the operational aspects of an organization's behavior together in your mind, you can figure out how to protect it. There's several uh, studies from um, research groups in the Department of Labor that, that really highlight the need of cybersecurity professionals. And, you know, some say hundreds of thousands, some say a, li a little bit less. But there's really a lot of job opportunities for people in the cybersecurity field. And you just read the headlines every day. Cybersecurity professionals come from all walks of life. Jonathan Sow spent 12 years in the Navy as a search and rescue corpsman and sees his new profession as a very real battle. Oh, absolutely. Cybersecurity is on the rise, and uh, the need for it is on the rise. And absolutely, you have to be a cyber warrior in some sense. You have to be able to have the mentality to act fast and act hard and aggressive towards those people who are, um, who are trying to attack your networks. With the growing need for cyber warriors comes the need to train them. And National University is leading the way as a certified center for academic excellence. The National Security Agency and the Department of Homeland Security have a Center of Academic Excellence in Cyber Defense Education program. And as part of that program, a university or college has to demonstrate that they teach certain items. Additionally, they have to demonstrate that their university supports information security, not only in that cybersecurity program, but throughout the entire university. Um, additionally, you have to have active faculty that are uh, actively involved in the uh, cybersecurity community, presenting papers, doing research, giving back to the uh, community. We're set up to deliver our material um, online, and in addition to accessing the material online, we have a, a, a laboratory environment that they can access um, labs remotely, so it really, it really facilitates their um, uh, learning and being able to be anywhere in the world. Mark Veron is a cybersecurity grad student at National University and says if you're up for a challenge and really want to do something that matters. This field is exactly that. Now you can have people that are just in it for the money, but if you're really determined, you can have a lot of success and a lot of power in this field. And to me, being able to leverage that power to help people out on a greater level, that, that's what it means.